Hello everyone, welcome you all again in our live session. So in today's session, we are going to work on a very interesting project that we are going to make on Scratch. So our project name is uh, Flying Cat Game. For making this game, uh, as you can see onto the screen, I have the sprite and backdrop already, but how to select the sprite, I'm just deleting my sprite here. What steps you need to follow for making this game? Uh, the very first step is you need to open the scratch.mit.edu. When you type this, then you will open this scratch platform and you will start creating the project directly. So here uh, you will go to the sprite selection in the sprite selection, I want my flying cat because of course I'm making a flying cat game. So I will take a flying cat sprite. So I'm having this sprite cat flying. I'm just taking the sprite here and I am moving the sprite over here. So let's start coding part with this flying cat. What we are going to do, I'm going to uh, going with the events. I will take the like uh, when green flag click, then the starting position always I want my cat should be this one. Next, I will take the forever block and I will use the conditional statements. I think everybody know about conditional statements, like what are conditional statements? Uh, these are the statements work on the conditions. Like suppose I want that uh, if I press some key, then something is going to happen. So this happens according to the conditions. So I'm just taking a condition. I am going to the sensing and I'm taking key press block. So this I will take like if um, right arrow key press because uh, what I want is that if right arrow key press, my cat, my flying cat will move towards the right. If left press, it will move to the left. If uh, up press, it will move to the up. If uh, down press, it will move to the down, right? So what I will do is that if uh, the right arrow key press, then uh, the cat costume is going to change. So I'm just going to be here and I'm taking this switch costume block. First of all, let me check with the costumes and I have A and B two costumes only. Right now, the, uh, the cat is in A costume. So when I, I want that when I press right arrow key, my cat will switch the costume. What I will do with that if I run the game and if I press the right arrow key, uh, C, my cat switch its costume with right arrow key. Then <clears throat> it will change uh, like... Uh, with right, of course, it will change the X. So sorry, we will take change X block here. So change X by 10. Let's see. If I press the right arrow key, see, my cat is changing X by 10 like this. Okay. Or what I can do is I can uh, even instead of taking this uh, <clears throat> costume B, I'm taking next costume and... Uh, will change this let's see how it works if i start see but it's very 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 fast so i want it to be very smooth so for making it smooth i'm taking just a weight block and this weight block will be of only 0 0.2 seconds just to uh, see that like just to you know put that uh, effect of flying see when I just press the key, my cat is fine like this. Okay. So, okay, let me share my screen again. <clears throat> it got stopped actually. So, just wait. Hmm. I think the screen is visible to everybody. Okay, but I want that, uh, you know, it will be going gradually. So, let's see. Let's take this one only. Let's take switch costume get flying by B. That's it. Uh, yeah. And then we will take this change X by 10. So instead of 10, I'm just taking change X by 5 because I want it to be uh, slower in speed. The next thing is uh, because I'm going to do the same part, I will duplicate this code block and I'm joining it here. 
I am giving that when right instead of right, I am giving when left arrow key press. So when left arrow key press, cat flying costume A will change and uh, uh, the X will change by minus five. Okay, and uh, then I'm taking duplicate of this again. And uh, I'm taking this like when up arrow key press, then cat flying costume will be B. And this time, see when we are going up and down, we will change the Y coordinate, okay? Every time uh, when we take up and down, we will be changing the Y coordinates. When we are moving right and left, we will be changing the X coordinate. So this Y is going to change, means up and down, okay? This effect is changing. So what we are going to do when we are going to up, so I'm just going to motion and here I'm taking this change Y by 10. So instead of 10, I'm taking this five. Now the next part is I'm taking a duplicate of this and instead of up, I'm making it down. Okay, so uh, when we are coming down, then uh, the Y will change by minus five. Now, if I run this code like this, so, I can move my cat, I can move my cat, I can move my cat, I can move my cat like this. Oh, by the way, it's it should be costume A. So with this, it should be, it should be A. With this, it should be B. Okay, that's fine. So this is good. This is done. This is now and this is still okay. This suits uh, like everything is fine now. Now, what I want is that I want to create one scenery, uh, a kind of uh, animation that my screen is moving. So, for uh, making my screen moving, uh, what I will do is I will take the sprite over here. Um, instead of this, like what. Uh, I can take, I can take animal, people, fantasy, or I can take some things like, uh, let me see, I can take dinosaurs, or uh, I can take this dot dog, or let's see what options are available. I can take these green flags. In the way, I think green flags will be the better option. You can even take any option. Okay, I'm taking trees. So I will take this tree and uh, I'll resize the tree. So I will resize it as 40. 40 is very small, I think, or no, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. So I'm taking 40 and I'm just moving it here. What I'm going to do is that uh, when the green flag click, I'm going to events and I'm taking when green flag click, I will go to the motion and take go to X and Y block. After this, I will go to controls and I'm taking the forever block. And uh, here, what I will do is that this tree is going to change its X continuously. Okay, so I will uh, take motion and I will take this change x by block and I'm changing it to minus five. So this will change with minus five. I go to controls and I'm taking the if conditional statement block. Here, what condition I should make? First of all, I will run this. Like if I run this code, it's changing x by okay 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 wait so if i give the starting position here actually it's moving uh, towards this side so the trees will should move towards back side right so let me let me remove this first of all i'm just moving this tree towards this side like this like this like this and i'm just moving it here i'm going to motion i will take this and then this okay now if i run it okay so it stops here as we can see that the value of x is minus 253 so i will give that if the x position 
is uh, like uh, less than this number, then something is going to happen. So I will go to operators. I will take this less than block and I will take X position. So I will go to sensing and no, in motion, I will have this block. So I'm taking this X position will be less than minus 253. So minus 250 I'm taking, okay? So when this happens, it will go back to its position. Means this same position, it will go back to, I am just taking go to X and Y and here I will write down uh, the numbers like 225 and minus 125. So if I start, see, it looks like the trees are just coming uh, uh, like that. And it looks like that this is the animation. The same animation you can create for another tree. Like I can make beautiful scenery out of here. So I am just taking the another tree as well. <coughs> so I'm taking this one as well. Okay, so I'm just taking this one uh, here. Uh, from the center, I, I'll start moving. And this one I want as 60 size, that's fine. And this is good okay, here. So what I'm going to do is I will hold these blocks and I will duplicate the code like this. This is duplicate here. Now, uh, here X is uh, 92. From where we can find the x and y, this time the tree position is here. So here the x is 92 and y is minus 100. So the same thing I'm doing, 92 and minus 100. Then change x by uh, minus 5. This is fine. X position will be this. Then it should be like some, it should start from somewhere here. Look at this I want. Mm -hmm. Okay, it should start from somewhere here. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> this one will be 211, one, one, and uh, this will be minus 104, minus 104. This is done. So now if I run this, see. So this looks good. Now, yeah. Now what I want is the same thing. I want some clouds over here. So I can search for clouds. These, these one, uh, like this one we want. So I'm just taking it here. And the same thing I'm doing, I will copy this whole stuff here like this. Because see, if something is repeating, you can definitely use the method that you can use. Okay, so here uh, we will check the X and Y. We will start the position from this point. So I'm taking 107. This is very, very easy fits. You can easily make that and very interesting even. So uh, this X and Y position I'm taking from here, from this part, okay? I will highlight it with a, a pen also. From here, I'm taking this. Okay. Now I'll remove this one. Uh, after this, what we want is uh, that, yeah, the cloud. So X and Y this, and for cloud also, X changes, and the position will be this, but Y must be. <coughs> 155. Okay, review the code once. So it's like that. And yeah, like if I run it, see. Ooh. But the cloud size, I want something should be different. Like I'm making it 60. 
this is fine now what uh, next is i want one coin sprite will be there uh, coin or any anything you can take like uh, this cat can uh, uh, catch the mouse or uh, uh, or, or 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 what things we can take let me check hard face okay this i can take easily so we will take this and then we will do write the command for this like when uh, we are taking the flag then it will go like uh, um, this way so We'll go to controls, then we will come to the forever part and we will arrange the size of it. So let's make the size, uh, It's it will be 40 over here and this will move to the random position. So I'm just going to here and I will take like glide for one second to the random position like this. Okay, so we can easily come down and we can do this properly. I, th I hope this is done. Now uh, we will add some score to this as well. <clears throat> so let's review it once. So the code is fine absolutely okay and then we'll go to the control part and we will be taking a conditional block like if this heart is touching the cat so what will happen so we'll take like uh, touching one so we'll take touching and here we will take cat fly so if touching cat fly then what will happen then the score will uh, increase or decrease so the score we will make with the help of variables so we'll go to new variable and i'm going to create a score for all the sprites now i will take like set score to zero and then we will take change score by one so when your cat sprite touching the heart then the score will change by one okay let's see let's create let's check our game so yeah ding, no okay i want to touch this heart but this is too fast this is too fast really too fast okay so i got one score I got only one score. I want more score to be here. Okay, so what we need to do is like uh, here, glide uh, for one second randomly. And I think <clears throat> I need to make this uh, to the another event. Like I'm just taking when green flag click, I'll go to controls, I'll take forever and i'm taking this to the another one i think now i can uh, increase the scores and i can do the score oh my god the score is so high now so for this bug what you'll do is you will take just weight block means uh, for one second uh, you cannot make score or uh, or or when it touches then it will go to the the score will change uh, by one and uh, it will go to random position then also it will not happen so if i start and drink see when it touches no go to random is not works this is actually uh, what we call it as uh, you know we are testing our game properly it's working or not so i'm just taking only weight block and i also want to add some sound so I'll go to the sound library and uh, pop sound is already there. 
So I am taking the pop sound over here. So I'm just taking <clears throat> a sound and this will be the pop sound. So I'll take this start sound will be pop sound, pop. Okay, so if I share my screen with the audio, then you can easily check uh, what the game is and how it's working. So let me uh, share with the audio. I'll share it with the audio and yeah. Now it's my screen like this. And if I run the game, you can see it clearly. And whoop, see, sound is also coming. And the score is also having, and this is really good. Okay, so this way you can even make a sprite, you know, that will not have like uh, will have the minus scores. So this is really amazing and good game we made, really. So everyone, you can make the games like this. Enjoy this video, I hope. And uh, please subscribe the channel for watching these kind of videos. And this is very simple, very interesting and very good game. Everybody definitely like to play that. Even you can put timer inside this that uh, uh, suppose uh, you can do that in a particular give it, in a particular time or not okay so how we can set the timer let's set the timer for our game so we can set the timer like uh, you can take when green flag click then <clears throat> um, i'll go to the variable and uh, here i'm making a variable timer okay so i'll just click on okay with the timer and i will take like set my variable means set uh, timer to zero initially and uh, i will go to controls and i'll take repeat some number of times so i'm taking repeat 30 times and uh, 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 change like change variable by one and we will take the weight block with one second so it will automatically stop at this so when once the timer is over means once the value of timer uh, will be 30 will be more than 30 then everything will stop you can do that also so we can just simply put another if conditional if uh, i will go to operators i will take is equals to block and i'll go to variable i will take timer so if timer is equals to 30 then what will happen so if timer is equals to 30 then i'll go to looks and uh, <coughs> Like I want to stop this game, so I will take stop all. Okay, let's see. So if I if you run this, ding. So see the timer is running, and I have one score, two score, three score, four score, five, six. Oh oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, my time is about to over and 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 everything stopped. Nothing happens. So see what happened is that within 30 seconds you got 13 score. Here is the game and you can put, uh, you know, something like uh, you win the game, you lose the game or you get this much score. So, so lots of things are here. You can definitely try with them. So everybody, this is all about our today's session. I hope you all like this video. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, any query, if you wish to uh, take uh, courses for, like uh, from us, you can definitely take the courses. Uh, we have our website link. You can go there. You can register with the form. You can send us the messages on Instagram. Definitely. Okay, everyone. So we'll meet you in the next live session. Till then, bye-bye. Stay healthy. Stay safe.